As I always say, if you want to be a successful car editor, you should follow what's trending, take inspiration from it and create your own version. And right now, this loop zoom out effect is exactly what's blowing up. Nobody has really shown how to make it properly, so I will. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this smooth and clean zoom outs in After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right in. To create this type of edit, you need clips that include a zoom out or zoom in from a subject. So avoid using clips with orbital movements like this. Here in my timeline, I have three clips that I'm going to use to create the zoom out effects. Step one of creating any good car edit is marking the beats and stop searching for a cheat code to do that. All you have to do is to select your music and press L on your keyboard twice to reveal the waveform. Then start playing the music and add a marker on every beat you hear. The next step is to stabilize the clips. There are several ways to stabilize footage in After Effects. I'll cover all of them in the next video, but for today we're sticking with the traditional method. All you have to do is to select your clip, go to the tracker panel and select stabilize motion. Then select options, make sure adapt features is enabled and change the confidence to 95%. Then click OK. Now put this point to a high contrast point, something like this. Then click on track forward to start stabilizing your footage. Now click on apply, make sure X and Y is selected and click OK. To get rid of the black edges, you can scale up the clip a little bit and make sure it's placed on the center. Then right click, select pre-compose, make sure the second option is selected and click OK. Do the same process with all the clips on your timeline. Just don't forget to pre-compose the layer after that. Once all your clips are stabilized, you're ready for the next step, which is speed ramping. Let's begin with the first clip. Select the layer and press Ctrl Alt T to enable time remapping. Delete the last keyframe, then move to the second marker and start adjusting the time remap until you're satisfied. Then select these two keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor, make sure you are on edit value graph and create a curve like this. Now you can trim that layer after the second marker. Bring the second clip to match the second marker and again press Ctrl Alt T to enable time remapping. Delete the last keyframe, then move to the third marker and start adjusting the time remap until you're satisfied. Once again select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them and create a curve like this. Then bring the third clip and repeat the time remapping process with all the clips on your timeline. If you're seeing something like this, that means you're ready for the next step. Now select your first layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Move to the last frame of your first clip, then right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Make sure the timing matches the last frame of your first clip. Now select this layer and press Ctrl X to cut the layer. Now open the second composition and from here on the fun begins. First select this layer, right click and choose pre-compose to pre-compose this layer one more time. Apply 3D camera tracker to this layer and wait for analysis to complete. Then select a few points on the wheel or whatever object you choose to zoom out then right click and choose create solid and camera. Hide the solid layer and press Ctrl V to paste the last frame into this composition. Enable 3D on this layer, then while holding shift on your keyboard, parent this layer to the solid layer. Adjust the position and rotation to make sure this frame fills the entire composition on the first frame. Then hide this layer and while this layer is still selected, create a mask around the object. Then unhide this layer and you should see something like this. Now if you go back to the main composition, you should see something like this. Now it's time to create the zoom out effect for the first clip. Duplicate the second clip, then right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Then create a mask around this object. Press M on your keyboard to reveal the mask and set the mask mode to subtract. And overlay this layer with the first clip. Press S on your keyboard and add a keyframe for this scale. Move to the beginning and scale it up until it's no longer visible. Then select these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, then open the graph editor. Make sure you're on edit speed graph and create a curve like this and you're getting a result like this. Now make sure to enable motion blur on this layer and add CC force motion blur to the main layer. Add CC force motion blur on the first layer as well. Now it's time to do the zoom out effect for the other clip. Again, move to the last frame of the second clip, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, then right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Make sure the timing matches the last frame of the second clip. Press Ctrl X to cut the layer and open the third composition to continue the process. Again, inside this composition, select this layer, right click, and choose pre-compose. Make sure the second option is selected and click OK. Then add 3D camera tracker and wait for analysis to complete. Select a few points on the wheel, then right click and choose create solid and camera. Then press Ctrl V to paste the frame inside this composition. Again, enable 3D on this layer, then while holding shift on your keyboard, parent this layer to the solid layer. And yeah, make sure the solid layer is no longer visible. Adjust the position, scale and rotation to make sure this frame fills the entire composition. Then hide this layer and while this layer is still selected, create a mask around the wheel and if you unhide this layer you should see something like this then go back to the main composition duplicate this layer right click go to time and choose freeze frame then create a mask around the wheel press m on your keyboard and change the mask mode to subtract 
and then overlay this layer with the second clip. Select this layer, press S on your keyboard and add a keyframe for the scale. Make sure this keyframe is at the end of the layer. Then move to the first frame and scale this layer up until it's no longer visible. Select this layer and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor and create a curve like this. Make sure to enable motion blur on this layer and add CC force motion blur to this layer. Now when you play it back, you'll see that your loop zoom out is ready. Alright, I guess that's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. And as always, never forget to subscribe to Adobe Simplified. See you in the next one. Bye.